Um, I mean, I think it's just a matter of time. You know, we understand, um, you know, we've been with Matt for most of the guys three, four years. Um, we understand. We understand the timing. We know what we're capable of. We know what we can do. Um, like I said, that game was a great learning experience. Um, you know, we there are some goods to take out of that game, and we know that. So, you know, we looked over the film. We know what we can do. We, we're going to come back to the drawing boards. Um, as far as play pads and all that stuff, we know what we can do. Like, we've always been one of the most explosive teams in the league, you know, and we know that. So we're going to attack it the way we know how to. Howard, is there a sense of urgency to be able to put that on display on Sunday? Definitely. I mean, honestly, it's a sense of urgency to do that every week. You know, the more explosive plays, I, I believe you put yourself in the best chance to win. Um, so, definitely. You're talking about turning on the film and reviewing the game against the Eagles, obviously. What is it about the offense that you've looked at and you said, okay, that is good? Um, well, for one, I mean, I, I think we all could agree that we ran the ball really well. Um, and establishing something like that, I think that opens up anything. So, you know, we just got to kind of piggyback off of that. You know, play pass, you know, quick game. Um, things really to help our run game. I know a lot. last year we kind of struggled with that. So being that's exciting, you know, knowing that we okay, we got a better run game. We're we're stronger in that area, and we could definitely build from there. I believe. I'm curious, uh, as a wide receiver, what's your what's your thought about seeing a guy wearing number 84 lining up at, at, at running back? In <laughs> CP, uh, it's definitely different, man. But as you can see, he's a dog. <laughs> he's a dog, man. He's a beast. Uh, CP is a big, a big guy. You know, he's a mismatch if he does line up a receiver. You know, you're gonna have linebackers on him. So, I um, mean, it's 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 definitely different. Um, but he's an exciting player. Is there a little running back in every receiver? Anything? Say it again. Is there a little running back in every wide receiver? <laughs> I like to say so. <laughs> I like to say so. When, when you say you know, the, ball, the ball's gonna find your bench, right? Do you go into a week sometimes knowing, hey, this might not, I might not get. Um, not necessarily. I mean, you know, you got to think about, uh, you know, the defense. They drop game plans too, so it's really kind of how sometimes how they're gonna come, up, how they're gonna play you. You know, you go into it with a game plan, you don't understand their tendencies, um, but they might mix it up completely. You know, the ball might be, it might be, you know, a tight ends day, running backs day, it might be the fullbacks day. You never know. So honestly, going into it, not really. Um, so, but as long as, like I say, my effort. It's never going to change how hard I go. And I know with those things combined, the ball will find me. Um, you already played one game this season from the Smith. And just compared to last season, I don't know if it's like actually discussion, but what would you say is just a different soft ball this season in the offense? Um, well, for one, you know, the tempo of things. I mean, as you can see, you know, we opened that first drive. We were on the ball, you know, right away, right now, right now, right now. Um, and that's that's a big thing, you know. We condition every day, as we just did <laughs> after practice, you know. And that's something different. And he he says it every day, you know. We got to be the the best conditioned team in the NFL. Um, so that's definitely a big difference, you know, our tempo and how we attack guys and uh, kind of keep them on on their heels. What's, I just asked Boya this. Um, yeah, I think this probably applies to you too. I, I asked him if it's if this is the earliest definitely is there a difference in facing like making a count of grip? I mean obviously every game counts what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. week two you're already facing the bus mm -hmm. and your past has been late in the season is right. there a difference for you would you rather have more games under your belt honestly I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it um, you know I, I've always kind of looked at it like you know, for some reason, we you know we played our, our divisional games late in the season, and sometimes there'll be like th three week span and we'll play the same team, you know, and it's like a turnaround. I feel like we just played them, so I feel like you know this gives us a chance to kind of see them, okay, get a break from them, then come back later in the season. Um, you know, playing them back to back almost seems you know kind of difficult. You know, when you just see the team, and you know now you got to try to draw up something different for them. You know, so I'm excited about it, me personally. I want to know. What is it like when Kyle Pitts is there and he's on the offense for you? Like, how is that feeling as a wide receiver to know that you got somebody like that? You said Patterson? Yeah, the Pitts. I'm sorry, my man. No, it's okay. <laughs> but when you have Kyle Pitts on the line with you, mm. lining up, those, lining up. Uh, Oh, man, it's great. You know, Kyle, you know, he's extremely athletic, as you guys can see. He, you know, he's, he's he's very talented. It's great. You know, um, he works hard. Honestly, it's, it's, I mean, it's always a pleasure to line up with a guy like that and understanding that, you know, he's kind of a mismatch, you know, 
on linebacker safeties for sure. So um, I love it, man. I love it.